Hi, this is Michael Ellis, um, also known as Elias the Artist. And um, something I have developed is kind of interesting. Um, it can be used a number of ways, but um, this way is probably the most um, useful. Um, it says an artificial heat source, and it works by wire. So meaning that you attach a wire to it, and you string it out, and the whole wire emits heat. And it's not like normal like air temperature heat, it's more like an infrared heat. So it kind of just generates heat off ob all the objects in the room or whatever, or area, whatever you're kind of heating. So, um, so yeah, it's kind of weird like that, but um, I do know that it's infrared because it's number one, it's not visible. And number two, it's, um, well, it's kind of, well, it's an electromagnetic heat basically. So, um, so it's not like, like flame heat or anything like that, not a plasma heat. Um, but, uh, but it is, it is heat nonetheless. It's not heated air or anything just kind of a radiant radiant heat um but anyways how to build them um first you're going to need like a copper pipe or something like that um probably bigger than this so you can see the radiation coming off of it no i'm just joking it's just a reflection or maybe it's not i don't know maybe that's picking up the light I don't know, maybe that is there. Hard to say. Anyways, um, so yeah, you're gonna need a copper pipe or a steel pipe, anything, any kind of metal pipe. Um, you could probably even use PVC. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, and you fill it with 50% sand, play sand, and it has to be the quartz kind. You can't use any of the other kind like feldspar or, or just chewed up rock or whatever. Um, you have to use the quartz, the quartzite, the silica, play sand. It has to be the quartz kind. This is of the utmost important. Otherwise, it won't work. So the the yellow play sand, the kind you get from the hardware store for, like, sandboxes and stuff. And not the no silica kind. It has to be the quartz kind. Um, and you're going to mix that with epoxy, but mix the hardener in first. That's the big thing otherwise you're gonna wear your hand out or wrist out or whatever and um so mix the epoxy and hardener together then dump the sand in then mix that up then pour it into the um or well tape it off obviously you can see it has tape on it um tape it off or get a end cap and fill it up with the sand epoxy mixture then what helps is to tape it off again because otherwise it'll sink in i found and um and drive a nail into it it doesn't matter what kind of nail it can be copper or whatever um copper iron or galvanized it really doesn't matter i use copper just because that's a good conductor it can be gold nail if you really want one <laughs> um so yeah and um so then you're gonna take a wire you're gonna run the wire the length of the area you want heated i chose to run one through my basement and actually there's one in my room that goes up on the ceiling and stuff so it's like a but the, i use that as an antenna too so it kind of is a dual purpose thing um and 
and then when you get when you get it all you get all the wires and you you run the wires through whatever area you want heated like for example i had one of these run through what used to be an um, antenna for some Tesla radiant energy experiments. And it was like a plate in the attic and it came down a wire through a closet and it ran down a, um, the basement area, the length of the basement or the back of the basement anyways, the um, utility area anyways. So um, with the heater in it and everything um the furnace and everything in it so um so i ran that so i took that the end of that the service area of that disconnected it from the uh, setup i had well actually it was disconnected anyways so um so that skipped a step um but i uh, stripped the end off the wire and so i got a, a little extra length on it because it just had an alligator clip on it and um wrapped it around the nail and soldered it to it and you got to solder it in because otherwise it doesn't get a really good connection i found you need a really really good conductive connection otherwise it doesn't work very well for some reason and um and that's all you have to do and you'll notice right away that it gets warmer if you have enough sand in it that's the key you have to have at least 50% sand in it. The more sand you add, the hotter it will get. And you'll notice your heater or your when it blows the air in, it will get hotter. You'll notice it takes less heat to increase the temperature of the area. It just takes the fan running, basically. You can turn your heat off and you can just leave it on the fan. And every time the fan blows, it'll heat up the area of your house like if you ran it if you have it like by your basement or by your uh, furnace area it'll just blow the heat through up th th uh, through the area and it'll blow it up throughout your house and your know, house will heat up like magic it's really cool that way so um so yeah that's like all there is to it basically just something this small will heat up your house so um so yeah and I guess there's like no limit to what you can do with them. Um, I mean, you can run them all over and um, I don't know, just, you just have to run wire. It goes through walls and everything. So, I mean, it's like a ether heat, basically. It's not like really electromagnetic per se. It's more like a penetrating heat. Um, it goes through walls and stuff. I, I'm at least told by my um, my intuitive sources, my bedowsing and whatnot. So, um, so I highly recommend this. You try it out anyways for yourself. In case there's an emergency or anything, blackout or something, it's a good backup source to have. So, anyways, thanks for watching. This is Michael Ellis.